what's up guys welcome back to another YouTube video just getting outside on this beautiful morning for a nice run running from home actually today as you would have seen and um, this is the route so we're officially I think nine weeks out from the Sydney Marathon so marathon is next Sunday we're heading down I think we're just heading down the day before but I'll be filming that whole that whole weekend and the whole race as well because it's not gonna be anything crazy you guys know I haven't really been preparing to run a really fast race there so hoping something around 315 320 would be nice I've got a few mates that are running it as well so just gonna jump in with them I think we're all gonna cruise it it should be fun but beautiful morning this morning cooled down a little bit again which is good but yeah, to get this. What a morning. Absolutely no wind around. Nice and cool. So nice. guys we're gonna head to gym in a minute but I thought I'd quickly run you guys through something I was fortunate enough before their release um, shocks sent me out a couple pairs of the the all-new open run pro 2 now this is a upgraded version of the first first ones I had the first version um, for how long I probably had them for over a year now and absolutely loved them but these are just another step up so second version like I just said the main differences is the sound quality, like way better than the first version. You don't get as much of that vibration kind of, yeah, noise and, and like feeling next to your ear. It's like really, really clear. Like, it, yeah, you don't get that vibration, but the sound quality is like top, t top tier, way better. Um, so obviously, as you can see here, they just pop on like that. You would have seen me cycling with these on, running with these on, they're literally my go-to. So got them in the black and also the orange. I actually love the orange, it's actually a sick color. But um, what they have also changed is they did have a different kind of charging system before. They've gone to just the USB-C charger, which is great because literally everything these days is like USB-C. But um, yeah, these are I can't fault these. The first version, I felt like maybe they weren't loud enough um, and they had their little things that they need to improve on. 
and they've literally done it like yeah these are amazing so if you're a runner like me or you're just cycling or just any kind of fitness um, definitely look into shocks obviously if you haven't had a pair of shocks before the best thing about them is that you can hear everything around you that's why they're perfect for cycling and running you like you do really want to be listening to what's going around going on around you you can also obviously pause the music and leave them on your head and talk to talk to someone and it's absolutely fine for, for other than other headphones either go over your ears and they block your hearing or they go in your ears and they block your hearing as well so that's one of the the best things about shocks headphones is that you can hear what's going on around you which is super safe and probably what you want when you're cycling and stuff in particular because it does get dangerous out there but orange black version they come in a case just like this and like i said the charge by a little usb-c charger but highly recommend shocks headphones and if you did have the first version i probably would recommend upgrading if you if you can get them now get them now they are um, online so you'll get 10 percent off your first order on the shocks website as well i'll leave a um, link down in the description if you want to check them out but we're pretty much ready for gym now. We're gonna go have some pre-workout and I'll see you guys there. Just about to head off. We've got big shaker here filled with water. We've got a scoop of BPN creatine. We've got one full scoop of endo pump and half a scoop of flight in there as well. So I'll be having this on the way. Shall see you guys at gym. gym session is done hope you guys enjoyed that one man i gotta go clean this ridiculously dirty car so i'll see you guys when i get home post-workout meal going down <laughs> it doesn't look great at all but we got sweet potato mash which is a little bit too watery and then we got some slow cooked beef in there so this was pretty much like dinner last night so it doesn't look very good but i tell you what tastes absolutely amazing the the beef here is like literally so tender. I should tell you guys how to make it. It's, it's literally so easy, but um, yeah, I'm gonna demolish this. All right, dinner time going down. We are making some homemade burgers. So Katie is actually in Melbourne at the moment. So yeah, it's a boys night. We got Frank, 
Murphy's over there in bed, but we're making some burgers. Look, not the healthy, healthiest, but much more healthy than Macca's. We have um, some grass-fed beef. We're gonna make the patties out of this. We have cheese. We have pickles, of course. These are unreal, these pickles. Um, if you see the ingredients there, if it's gonna focus, no bullshit at all in these. Um, mingle, that's good, that barbecue sauce as well. So look, we're keeping it pretty good with the ingredients. Although the brioche, brioche buns probably have a little bit of crap in them, but that's right. We got some bacon there at all, as well. So yeah, we're gonna go burger patty, cheese, pickles, bacon, and barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna cook all this up, then I'll show you the finished product. All right, there we have it. There's the lid there. All right, let's actually, let's pop them on top. There we go. How good do they look? And there's still a few extra burger patties, which I'll have tomorrow. So I've just been watching the footy. You can see it on in the background there, but I've got my bike ready and stuff now as well. I'll be waking up pretty early and we're going for a long ride. I've got a couple mates. Well, one of my mates, he's got a couple mates up from Melbourne, I think. So they're coming with us. So it should be a good group. Apparently they're pretty, um, pretty intense, good riders as well. So hopefully I can keep up, but um, yeah, should be good. I shall see you guys in the morning. First climb, boys have dropped me already. Well, Luke's behind me, but boys from Melbourne, they're insanely quick up these climbs. <sighs> oh well, keep going. Man, that sucks. Forgot how hard that is. And it just keeps going forever. But look at the top. Not a bad view at all. 
the other boys went back past me to pick up Luke, I'm pretty sure. But they are insanely quick up that mountain, like straight away. They were just powering up and I, I just got dropped within like 100 meters. Absolutely crazy, really humbling experience every time I ride with actual really good riders. <sighs> Absolutely insane, but I'm gonna wait for them and then we'll head back down, which is the fun part. Man, what a morning. <laughs> that was tough. Murphy's just gonna walk through this door. Hello. That was so tough. Got humbled like crazy on those climbs. Those boys at the front, like they were absolutely unreal. So I've got a lot to work on, but that's bringing me pretty much to the end of this video, guys. I think I'm just gonna enjoy this nice breakfast that I've made. I've got two fried eggs on some sourdough and also some slow cooked beef there as well. So, man, that's just as good as anything you're gonna get at the cafe. So I'm gonna de demolish this. I've also got some electrolytes and stuff. That's probably one thing that I didn't take enough of today. I actually, last ride, I did take salt tablets. I forgot to take them this time. And yeah, I definitely felt it because I was cramping a little bit at the end, but that's all good. Um, time to refuel. Thank you guys for watching another video. Next weekend, I will be in Sydney for the Sydney Marathon. So the next week, the next video, sorry, will probably be the Sydney Marathon video. So yeah, that's it for me. Catch you later.